necessarily gems that you just have to give time. Well, yeah, absolutely. And there, there's there's quite a few albums that it took a couple of listens to all the way through to kind of get used to it and actually noticing, no, this is a good album or it's really not. But that that could go all night. So we're gonna we're gonna skip over that and we're gonna get to one of the singles that that was released before the album came out. This is Ill Advised with Blessed Insane off his new album Masochist. Dig this. The first step away from Christ is your first step toward the Prince of Darkness. Because when the Prince of Darkness gets in here, he'll destroy everything in your life. Let me tell you something, the lyrics to real rock music is nothing more than a Get it out of your house, throw it out, and do it. You have no voice in your house. When you reject the truth, all that's left is a lie. When you read books about witchcraft, the uncle,
And we're back, because apparently Mike didn't hear me once. Ten seconds, five seconds. Oh, sorry. Well, it's really good, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, totally cool, man. No. <laughs> that, that's what that's what makes makes doing a, a live show so much fun. So that was uh, <laughs> ill-advised, blessed, insane. One of the first singles released for Masquerade, which came out yesterday, and. Man, did this ever have Nine Nails written all over it? And what, what a good segue to go into it as well, right? I mean, it just... Harry, like, man, like... Like I said, the first time we talked about it, uh, about the album, it, the, the two words was, holy fuck. Because <laughs> this is just fantastic, and I'm just... I'm so impressed, and I just... And I was even telling Brian yesterday uh, from Factory Fast Records that the jump from um parkway divide some ass kids it just it's a, it's a huge leap i mean it, it almost looks like uh parkway divides his child's play even though it was a great album i mean just such a huge difference but wow man this 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 song was just like you loved it like the all the way around vocally everything the mixing was just fantastic mike i absolutely love uh well i, I, I love the whole album actually but i really really like this track and it's it's great it's an interesting one that you've picked out because it has that intensity and almost claustrophobia that captures this album so so well. Um, and, and what I was actually <laughs> what I was saying because I didn't realise we were on air uh, is that uh, Harry was saying oh, it's, it's quite a long song, but but if you do a long song and you do it really well like that, then bang on. And this album is actually full of some really really um, you know reasonably long tracks that are really really well done. You look back at like Pink Floyd where they did twenty five minute tracks, on right? Albums, but they're absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> And this just nails it. I love the industrial, heavy, intense feeling of the whole thing. And for me, this is one of those. There's two or three tracks that really capture the spirit of the album, and I think this is one of them. So great job, man. I think it's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much, guys. No, Harry, with this song, since when, since, uh, when we talked to you a few weeks ago, we talked about the background of the album a little bit. And part of it was like, due to, uh, to uh, a family and uh, like an asylum, for lack of better words. Was this song somewhat influenced by that? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, well, for people who didn't listen to the last um, last episode, um, so part of this, there are several concepts, and I mean, I don't, you know, to go into it, basically, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where I want people to take it for what it is, but, um, you know, it's a gossip gosh a commentary partially on kind of our modern world i mean you have a lot of uh you know the last track mercy is i uh, sampled one of the atomic bomb tests i think in oh, 1981 wow. i think it was and then someone had created a composite so i just took that and layered it um so it's kind of a commentary on you know our current situation in the united states with he who shall not be named. You're right. Um, <laughs> um, you know, all these songs for me, they all kind of come from a personal place, and obviously there are overtones that connect to different things. But um, you know, um, in my own family, I was telling you guys the last time. Um, you know, my I guess great grandfather. Um, he uh, passed away in a um, mental asylum. This was in I guess the early 1930s during the the depression. Right. Um, and um, he had, I guess, contracted syphilis, and obviously there was no cure for it back then, so he kind of went insane. And, um, you know, my family is Catholic. My grandmother was an ex-nun, actually. Um, and we're related to uh, St. Teresa of the Little Flower, wow. who is um, out in France. And, um, you know, I've kind of read some of her writings just because her story is interesting because she wasn't really perfect in the sense i mean you kind of think of saints as these perfect kind of people and a lot of she died very young and right. her writings were about you know her imperfections and how she you know get angry or get upset but it kind of and and it's interesting some people call it blessed and insane and of course because catholic i mean blessed is what when you go to church like that's right. that's what so blessed and insane and i thought okay um you know the idea kind of fascinated me about whether people getting visions from God or, you know, someone coming to them in, in a dream or hearing voices, the voice right. of God, and kind of whether that fine line between 
is that something from the divine or is that insanity and where is that where does that border lie you know where is the where's the line that you know how can you is someone or people who are defined as insane are they really insane or is it something is there something else going on so i kind of was very interested in that and that kind of informed you know a lot of my lyrics you hear like sins or is a word i use a lot i mean there are a lot of like you know misery on the last record was very very heavily uh you know filled with right um catholic terms and uh so yeah for for this song i, I tried to you know black star bowie from the single from bowie's last album was was a huge influence on this one so i actually applied the cut up technique for lyrics where you cut up lyrics and kind of rearrange them and that's what formed the basis of the verses wow right on man you know what it's it's interesting that, that you mentioned uh, that you mentioned that about the 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 the, the catholic uh background i mean like we're not gonna get too into it because that's another thing we can get to go on to for hours and we're gonna, not gonna have a huge debate about this but you know it's, it's just interesting that, that you mentioned that because I mean, it, it it comes up in, in in so many ways that that people don't realize, and once you make the connection, like, oh yeah, kind of. I mean, uh, just just because the only reason I mentioning mentioning that is because some bands are labeled as like Christian bands, like as far as genre goes, like like we'll say Christian alternative, and uh, you, you kind of hear it, but you don't, um, because uh, uh, one band, I mean. Pff, they're 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 not around anymore. Uh, they probably did like maybe one album. Was it, if you remember the band uh, DOA, with uh like uh, Southtown and you know and uh, and uh, um they 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 made like a like a really kind of powerful um uh well there's Boom and uh, the other one was uh it was it was more or less gearing towards like uh, bullying but it was really well done. But you know initially I wouldn't have thought about thought about that until I was just like well yeah you're kind of right but. So in some cases, not all cases, there's there's some undertone. So it's just, it just like I said, just interesting fact to mention that because I tend to sidetrack a little bit. But uh, you, you kind of give me an opening right there. <laughs> never, we never sidetrack ever. Oh, oh, oh. silly. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you got a question, buddy? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I was to be honest, no, I was I was really enjoying listening to uh, a the the answer to the last question and and. Be the uh, the sidetrack afterwards, so I haven't actually thought up another question. I just all I can do it is is 